Namaste and welcome to this rather unusual way of celebrating Diwali in Leicester. Traditionally, of course, many thousands of people would gather on the Burger Road, the Golden Mile, to celebrate with their friends and their family, to savour the food, to sample the atmosphere. But under these very unusual circumstances, we've found a really creative way of celebrating the very best of Leicester. The celebrations on the Golden Mile in Leicester have, of course, been going on for decades. They're the biggest and best outside of India. So let's take a trip down memory lane to see how it all began. Hello, my name is Kiati Coria Green. I'm a freelance curator and I'm currently curating a show for my father, Kamal Coria, and I'm working with Leicester Museum and Art Gallery for a show that's happening in 2023. These Diwali cards were produced between 1984 and 1994. Originally, K. Coria was inspired by designing a series of wedding invitations. Initially, he was asked to design a set of 10 Diwali cards. His intention for these Diwali cards was to move away from tradition and to create a new style of cards, changing the trend from religious deities to beautiful miniature paintings. Overall, he designed in the region of 70 to 80 Diwali cards. Eventually, due to the popularity of the Diwali cards, K. Coria was commissioned to create a series of larger paintings, which were later turned into a series of fine art prints. As K. Coria has retired, he draws elements of his style from his commercial work to create his contemporary modern take on the traditional India that he knew of from 40 years ago. A lot of his paintings are captured from his memories of his childhood in India. So 40 years ago when my dad arrived in the country and he produced these cards, he didn't realise that they would be so popular. The traditional Diwali cards had a lot of Lord Krishna, like telling the Diwali story, but it was an opportunity for him to actually do paintings and um, produce beautiful paintings that people could have in their house. I guess in this work the bars started appearing, but as his work becomes more contemporary and as he has produced more paintings they start coming in a bit more he he had a childhood around women he has a lot of sisters but he has had this almost issue about women in India a lot of women are inside not exactly trapped but they are rooted in their day-to-day -day roles of being the wife being the mother serving the family he was frustrated for them as you can see his later works a lot of them have birds in them and caged birds in them it's this idea that a, the bird can fly away its wings its freedom and these women are kind of holding this bird with that wishful element of you know they've got the potential to fly also as you get into the paintings he seems to have this eye that's always looking out at you and it's almost a bit accusing somebody else blaming society saying I'm in this position because of society quite often we get asked about why there's one eye and I think my dad says that it magnifies the emotion more if you have two eyes it almost makes it more of a portrait whereas this one eye is kind of just magnifying it's looking at you it's not about the beauty of her it's more about her views as she's seeing it from the inside and looking out at you and I think that's quite common in a lot of his works. I think these Diwali cards are a really important part of Leicester's history because they reached around the world, but not many people know that they began in Leicester on Bulgrave Road in a little terrace house. These paintings are going to be shown at Leicester Museums and Art Gallery and they will be shown in 2023. Hope you're able to come and see the exhibition and hope you have a very happy Diwali. <laughs>